this Malian support is going to work against me in a number of ways. There is a way that I can outdo that, and that would be by declaring war on France to take Sierra Leone, of course, which I somehow have a claim on till 1607. If I were to do that, I'd be at war with Spain. Spain would lose their, or would drop their support of Mali, but Mali would still hate my guts, right? The problem is that I enforced religion on them. And I'm not sure if that's a problem problem, but I still did it. But that would mean fighting France and Spain and everybody else. I'm better doing it when France is embroiled in another war, or Spain is busy. And that kind of Spain busy isn't the good kind of Spain busy. I mean, busy with, say, Portugal or Austria or England. Thankfully, the great powers seem to hate each other here. As it should be. Oh, he's at it again. Bayan. Right, still a while before that truce is up. You guys gotta go and ma uh, match up with the boats we sent over to Malacca. Drink it dry, because that flagship, it's extra uh, trade power to everyone's real good. Really damn good, in fact. What's a caravel normally have in terms of trade power? 2.5 normally, but it gets 3.5 each. Why not uh, developing up Mali? Because I really don't have monarch points to spare for that. I very don't have monarch points to spare for that. A new and dastardly thought would be to have our units like this. That way we get his forts immediately. I don't think he pays for them before he uh, he declares. I don't have enough units over there to take care of it all, but I could. The man looks to go in for Macha. Who? Oh, really? Who? Oh, Mahra. Didn't I used to own that? Or did it just look like I owned that? Stops being core of Imarina. Annexed by Mahra. Really? Did I give in to them without knowing? I don't remember that happening, but sure, maybe it did. Huh. Oh well, my loss of a 3-dev uh, dirt poor province. They have no other friends though. <laughs> okay, oh man's gunning them down as well. Right, what'll it be? Our divine cause. Expulsion of heathens. Combating heresy. Safeguard the holy sites. We have a lot of heresy to fight. And frankly, I just want anything that will make my army a little stronger, because our army is terrible. What with the no military ideas we've taken. They crossed over from a man. You wouldn't have gotten a warning only when they crossed, and I would have paid no attention to that. I also don't remember taking this province, but I'm assuming that it happened. Well, as long as I still have the range to trade in Gujarat, we're all good. I'm just kind of waiting for it to drop and us to get the... Oh man, Savella isn't too far behind. And Lubeck, oh god. Growing popularity of tobacco is going to make their nodes stronger as well. Lazy colonist, Jake. Yeah... Let's get rid of this aberration then. Unfortunately, there are 7,000 natives there. We'll send a sloppy 5k down there to deal with them. Which means you're done. You go and meet up with them. Oh, I could finally get some tech. But damn, think of the cost. Where in the world is that institution at? I have a feeling that we're not going to get uh, get printing press for a long time. And I could dev up for it. I've been not deving up for it for a long time and paying over the odds, but maybe it's high time that I just did it. Especially if I did it on the Cape. Wouldn't be a bad place to have it. 
since there's not all those extra costs and it's actually a really good place for deving. But, Kilwa. Do you have a trade port in the province with cotton? Cotton? Don't think so. Uh, hmm. The modifiers for development here aren't great, but if I did dev over here. It'd be kind of cool to dev Zanzibar, given that it has the slaves in it. There are better options for deving, but it might be worth considering doing it for you. Especially if I can have the merchant guilds. Hmm, not a lot I can do to make them happier right now, sadly. Not until 98. Maybe I'll wait for 98, and I will dev up for uh, for that institution, because the lack of institution is slaughtering me in terms of tech. Patty is cloth, if I recall correctly. Yeah, there's a bunch of problems with this land, not least of all the fact that the climate is awful for us. Tropical is far from good. But I want it to be close to... Well, it needs to be in range of Kilwa so that it can actually spread to Kilwa. Yeah, Pat is a tempting one. But there's something that really appeals to me about having a heavy slave province here, like uh, Bangomoro. Oh, wait, no, you're not the slave one. You're the slave one. Zanzibar. That development cost reduction is pretty tasty, too. I think I will. I feel greedy like that. Can you privateer Ming? I don't think I have the range to privateer Ming from here. And I don't want to uh, to colonize anymore here. Wow, Japan looks pretty held together here. Goodbye money. That's one downside of having so much dosh. It costs an arm and a leg for almost everything. Well, so much dosh income, that is. Raw dosh doesn't make it cost so much. Based on the wiki map, Cape is your de uh, your best bet. Oh, I wasn't aware that Hungary even existed there. Ah, right, there's a tiny bit left. Used to be Transylvanian. You guys didn't arrive in time, that place burnt down, that's okay. I'll send another batch. Austria's still in charge. No cores to worry about. Uh, so if I devved up the cape, it wouldn't be enough. Uh, however, if I devved up Zanzibar, it would quickly spread to Kilwa, and that would be enough development for me to embrace it. I reckon that's what I'll do, but I'll wait until the... Uh, I'll wait until 98 so that the merchant guilds can be happy enough to reduce my costs. How did this happen? <laughs> How do we keep getting our rule challenged? I just want some devotion game. It appears to be too much to ask, but I still want it. Ah, it feels so bad to dump all this cost, but seems like it's got to be done. Another one done. Oh, swell. Prestige is nice, but stability is nicer. Manpower still blows. It's alright, though. We'll be fine. Jake, you dodging the Bayan rebels. Looks like Elodia managed to take care of them, so I suppose I can detach a couple of Merc scum to deal with it. Sadly, when there's the, um, the emancipation of slaves, the value of them is going to go way down, whereas ivory just goes up and up. Maybe I will go for the ivory. Hmm. Oh no! Power Max dead. Okay, well, let, let's not get cocky yet. He could be replaced with somebody even worse. Come on, local preachers. I need this to vote. Well, no, I should... Uh, I should make our merchant guilds a little happier, shouldn't I? Merchant guilds who gain a bit of loyalty, and heavens knows I need that out of them right now. For the love of God... No wandering shamans for me again. It is so hard. Alright, let's have Mardi Mole have their shot at leading us. It seems to be so hard to get uh, half-decent stats here. Before I look at this and before I look at the merchant guilds getting angrier again, 
No, it looks to be what it need uh, what we need to get that development cost down. If I give them a bit of influence over us. Do I get even more for hire? Mm, I can't remember. Anyway, before we do that, I've got a province to develop right now. Ah, there's no prosperity on it, and that would make it even cheaper to do so. Dev cost plus 10%. But that would take a long time to get, so I can't rely on it. Let's go for our... Where is it? Dev cost. Yeah, well, let's just pour it on in, unless there's something else I can do to further reduce the costs right now. Coastline and Tropical both make it pretty expensive. What if I gave it to the Merchant Guilds? No, it's just goods produced and uh, trade power. Hmm. Still, costly, but let's dunk. I think I'll dunk the dip first, since I uh, don't have a lot of dip. Ah, see, we've already spent all the dip. And let's see what we're doing for printing press. Oh, man. All those monarch points and it's still not enough. Currently stalled at 90, so I need to do it two more times, I think. Ooh. Does the minus 10% dev cost affect the multiple level 3 centers of trade in one stack? I don't believe you can have multiple uh, level 3 centers of trade in one area. For example, if I were to try to upgrade you... Yep, yeah, you already have a top level center of trade in Central Swahili Coast. Shame that you died. I don't really want morale of navies either, but I'll take it. Oh, you're the cheap one. Not bad having you back then. I want this set to better manpower as well. Actually, with that built up, marketplace, shipyard, I should definitely have a barracks going on here. Glorious. Mostly playing the economic one here. Fine by me. It's, I just... I'm really enjoying having a good economy for the first time in a very long time on one of these playthroughs. Especially on very hard mode when I start out as a small crappy nation. It's just poverty, poverty, poverty. So I, I get with all the people watching uh, both live and especially on YouTube going, what's he doing? Why is he not investing his money? He's just hoarding it all and whatever. It's like, try to understand. When I do a playthrough like Montenegro, it's just so much poverty. So much poverty. I want to have some money. I want to feel rich. Being rich is the only way to play a slave driver, says Neutral Good Human. Yeah, I want all the Belgians picking all the... Hmm. What's a Belgian export other than bureaucracy? Picking all the cloths and irons and glasses and... I don't know. A Stroopwafel? Uh, don't the... Uh... Don't the Dutch lay claim to that? Beer. Chocolate. Beer, waffles, chocolate, and fries. Hmm. Okay, plucking all the waffles then, whilst I crack the whip or the iron. Oh my. Quarantine that province, I don't care so much about it. I do, however, care about slowly but surely Advancing the fetishist ways. God, I need wandering shamans, and I certainly need some ideas here. Kaskinov's down and out. That's a real damn shame. Mm, yeah, let's just dump the mill. I need to rock it up in mill tech once all's said and done. But for that, I need some actual income of monarch points. Why? Why must we be in this situation? Alright, things are okay. Things are a-okay. That truce that we have with all these nations is going to be up in 1602, then we're going to reunite Madagascar. 
Sell Flanders to France and Wallonia to Dutch. Worst nightmare for both sides of Belgium. Hmm. Power propagation, Jake. Power propagation. You mean uh, power projection? Not sure if I can send out more insults right now. We already scornfully insulted our rival. Who do I... Uh, okay, I only... No, here we go. I'm embargoing, yes, I embargo Carabas, but I should probably embargo Ming as well. Just to slightly improve that. Oh yeah, that's why the question of privateering them came up. I mean, I suppose it wouldn't be too far-fetched to privateer Alexandria, but I don't think the Ottomans would like that very much. Merchant guilds wouldn't be happy. But we get production in a bunch of places, including Quali Watsits. That's not the gold province. Then I think I'd rather just keep my merchant guild happy and influential so that they lower the dev cost here. Which is already frightfully expensive. And then soon I'm going to demand Dosh out of them because that's the only way to do it. Ah, great, we can get both done. Clonk and... oh wait, what? Where'd my mill power go? Still, one more in the printing presses here. We'll have a whole lot more slaves to send out. Shipyard, marketplace, barracks. I'm gonna get another building in there as well. Do you have the range to privateer Savella? Hmm, that's not impossible. Another question is, do I have the ships to do so? I think I'll entertain that thought once we have global trade. I don't want to risk spilling below uh, English Channel. And that is a risk. I could build more ships, granted, but we're a little above naval force limit. Then again, I kind of think the money pays for itself, doesn't it? Let's just erect more ships. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Nice even number. It's actually a terrible number. It halves into 11, which is an ugly as sin number to, to use. Speaking of ugly as sin, we have the bravery to bring back slavery. And I want more out of them. Whip away. Now with this, we actually have an institution here. Thank goodness. Let's bring manpower modifier for the place. Oh wait, no, it'd be better to have institution spread. Whoopsie doodle. It should spread here pretty quickly though. Yeah, five a month. We'll have it in a year and a half. Gaming Monkey also points out the wise words of former Prime Minister David Cameron when he said, people rising from the bottom to the top has got to stop. Someday I'll get that party conference wrap out of my head, but it won't be today. Indongo wishes to rise up as it happens. Too much separatism. Independence guaranteed. Riga gives war reparations to the Ottomans. Portugal claims us. Lithuania is going to attack Riga in a war of aggression, probably because it just got slapped by the Ottoman. The lure of easy money. I've never seen this before. A number of economic investors have approached Mayor asking for the right to develop one of the areas under our control. They'd pay a lump sum for the right to extract revenue from our lands, and it would then be up to them to collect money in our stead. Investors are quick to point. It's in their interests to invest in local infrastructure to increase the chances they'll make more than the sum they have paid for the right to our area. Oh, ah, you get a chance to lose entrepreneurial and gain greedy. Cape of Good Hope gets reckless economic policies. Goods produced and tax. Oh, that, that's what could happen. Or we get growing businesses for goods produced. Or, oh well, phew. Show me the dosh. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, by allowing tax farmers with little interest in long-term growth to have their way with this area, we've contributed to the rapid destruction of local economic infrastructure. 
recovery will come, but it'll take time. It'll take 30 years. Ah. Potentially worth it. No, probably not. We lost entrepreneurial, which is 10% uh, trade efficiency, which was a lot of money. Wait, that's what entrepreneur is. I think it is. Think of the money. I'm thinking of the money. At least we're over uh, 11k right now. Ah, 20% chance and we get it. This is Xenonauts rearing its ugly head once again. Alright, Merchant Guild. If you're going to be like that, I demand a whole lot out of you. First, I will draft a minister from you. And I'll probably want to recruit that minister. He was a inflation reduction guy. And these conversions are going nowhere. I should honestly just cancel you and actually keep our inflation in check. It was, that was the right guy, right? I certainly hope it was. Bengals rivaling me. The Ottomans declared war on the Mamluks. Well now, something about serendipitous ducks. I too would like to declare war on the Mamluks, except their tech 16 terrifies me. Might not be in my interest to go for that just yet. Elodia, on the other hand, it's almost time for revenge. Well, there's plenty of revenge to be had, including around here. Someone programmed that event to automatically resolve the first way 100% of the time, but only for Jake's student. That actually can be done in the game. Let's get uh, Torg here done. Oh, I just cancelled it. Apparently it could have continued to, uh, to work. Oh well, get on with it again. Or we could do Mali. Can we actually see some progress in these Malian provinces yet? What? How did Futa Yolon change? That's not good. I saved Futa. And now it's spat in my face. All of these will take forever. That's a shame. You did not ask for money and dip from merchants. That's exactly what I was planning on doing until I got sidetracked. Uh, I definitely want that dip, though. And while we're at it, show me the money. And they're unhappy, but they're often unhappy. They are merchants, after all. I want a better general. Not terrible. Not with two, uh, two siege, they're not. Ottomans, you can have all the access you want. I should strongly consider improving relations with the Ottomans so they don't immediately hate me when they inevitably border me and try to kill me. But the nice thing is, they won't be taking any slave land unless they take this. Makuria's core, huh? It's a cultural situation here. It's all the same culture. Great. So Nubians rise up. Yeah, Alodia's going down. 1602. Uh, I'll probably declare simultaneous war. It shouldn't take a lot to take these guys down. One war, two war, three war. No, only two war, they're allied. I'll make co belligerents. And then Elodia. Elodia is ahead of me in Miltech for now. You produce the boats so much faster in these actually developed provinces. I wonder how much France being gimped like that is going to affect my game. It does reduce, or uh, takes away one incredibly powerful colonist that would coming, uh, be coming down here. Mm, Spain still have those Castilian traditions with 15% extra um, morale, which is scary stuff for me. We cannot control the free word. 50... Oh wait, I lose support, in, including in Kilwa. I, I don't like that. Can't we have it arrive first? I don't think this is going to stick around for six months. But maybe it will. And even if it doesn't, I'd rather not have that extra six revolt. Wait, it's in Zanzibar and all these other places that... Uh... Lindy. Isn't that all in these places that would never revolt anyway? Let's not control the free word here. Let's instead consider embracing for very little money because our land is so crap. That's a nice problem to have. There we go. We're going to be up to date in institutions before you know it. 
thought I saw somebody say Ching is formed, but I must have read something incredibly wrong. Top tip, if you hold control when dragging, you will only select ships. Every time I mention it, somebody learns that for the first time. Spy network someone with good tech, Jake. An extremely good idea. Question is, who has the best, uh, who has the worst spy uh, defense? Spy detection GB is... Uh... Hang on, it should be in Portugal since they're our rival. It'll build up faster. No, no, not that. Quite the opposite. Build a spy network. Rival helps out, and their distance isn't too far either. There we go. Maybe sell some printing press to your neighbors. What's disgusting is that um, they would benefit from that. But I'd probably give it to Bachman as if he's interested. Offer knowledge sharing, they'd end up with monthly deficit. Who wouldn't? How about you, Ming? Oh, he would, oh, they have loans, no less. I could pay off somebody's loans if that's their problem. But they're also a great power, so they wouldn't be having any of that. Jeanpur, is it because of loans? Not just that, it's the neutral and not allied, but I could raise my dip rep and get you if I paid off your loans. I don't know how much of a loan that you have, though. I only really want one province out of Eulodia, but I also want this one just to make sure that someone like the Ottomans doesn't take it. Once I have this, I will see who wants to buy our uh, buy our friendly offer here. Hmm. I think many of them are on the fence. Okay, well, this shows who's on the fence. Hormoz, Mongolia, Sindh, Arbil, cities and stuff, but they might be outside of my range anyway. All right, it's almost coming down to it, but the Cape of Good Hope is the richest in the world, so we will get that. What I'm worried a little bit about is it won't spread very far from here to my core lands. However, Kilwa and Zanzibar are both centers of trade with tons of development, so they will pick it up quite quickly. Or so the hope goes. I need more buildings on you, don't I? Marketplace, workshop, barracks, shipyard, temple. It's easy money, pays for itself very quickly. I can't believe I can tech up with this low everything, but I will certainly want them soon. Can you make more states in the Cape? Could. Question is, do I want to? The, the land is terrible. Really terrible. I guess this one isn't so bad, but I don't think it's worth it. It's not like we're hemorrhaging power or uh, money here. Only 5% of it flows out. Please show tradition, says KCON. Read fast. It's uh, unrest, manpower recovery, speed, infantry, combat ability, autonomy, morale, goods produced, fort defense, tax, stability, and infantry cost. They're good. They're actually very good, especially for the region. This is not a place that is well endowed with good ideas. Let's take you away and then see who we can offer this up to. Might well be worth giving it over to John Poor. Depends how much debt they're in. Yeah, it's a bit too much debt. As for you, you would take it. That is most assuredly worth it, because we shouldn't come to blows with Bahmanas. They won't take it, because I don't have enough dip rep, though, so I need a dip rep guy. Fire both of you in the hopes that uh, we get somebody. Our diplomatic reputation is actually pretty swell, thanks to that ivory. One of the most overpowered bonuses around is plus two from that. Fetishist, oddly enough, helps out with that too. Uh, still not who I'm after. Batua has pretty good... Yeah, Batua has god-tier ideas. Can't remember what they are, I just remember that they're god-tier. Alright, let's hope we get you now. That's not the guy again. Isn't there one of you that helps out with dip rep? No, it's improved relations. I often mix that one up. And this is no exception. How are we on our force limits? We're only a little bit over on the land force limit. 
you're about to go in a couple of years and then it's time to mop up this um, I reckon we could take on Elodia with just our mercenary army Elodia oh wow okay maybe not they're a bit more swole than I was expecting I guess I'll hoover these guys up first then. When it comes to rebels, surprisingly few of them want to rise up. Here's my idea then. How about you help uh, dispel some of these rebels, because heavens knows they want to rise up. Just in the whole area, because I know they're not very happy with me. That might dilute it a bit too much, but do what you can. And you folks get down and ready to retake a marina for ourselves. It is uh, incorrect that that land is not ours right now. Okay, it better come now because I'm expecting great things here. We have the most lucrative trade node in the world. It's still going to show up as red here though because it checks for Zenz of the node. It says, keep a good hope, high highest value. Now, if we didn't have a good trade note here, we would uh, we'd be able to delay it forever if we wanted to stay in the Age of Reformation forever. I don't, honestly. Seahawks, we gotta go for Maritime. There's no, no other way around it. Treason, that's just unfortunate. Uh, come on, global trade. I invested a lot into this. If I don't get it, I'll be less than pleased. I am the strongest in Zanzibar. Highest valued. We got everything. Should be fine, right? And then it never happens. Yeah, it does take time sometimes, but the fact that it's taking time only makes me worry a bit. Now, we got you guys together. Can you privateer so that you can? Swell. There we go. Power projection just like that. How do you delay it forever? You just make sure that the um, you control the highest valued um, trade node in the world, but you just make sure that you don't have either the provinces there, so don't have a level 2 or above node, don't have a capital there, or make sure that nobody... Uh, well, make sure you don't have the highest power there. Come on now. Don't let me down. Yeah, here's the trade nodes in the ledger, sorted by the strongest. Don't know why it says Lubeck there. Hmm. Actually, why doesn't it show us next to our one? Hmm. Oh well, we're there and we're the most powerful. We should expect it to fire there for us. Or have the highest power trade node controlled by pirates works fine too. Well, that works better than fine. <laughs> Poor quality copper doesn't spell well for us. Great, there we go. Get privateering. That doesn't make a lot of money for us, but what's important is it gives us enough power protection, uh, power projection to get the extra monarch point in each category for a while. Oh no, Portugal's slandering our merchants. Uh. Oh, well, that actually could hurt us badly here. Because the part of the uh, total value of Cape could go down if we're not able to bring the, the trade monies there. But we have enough of an advantage that we should still get it. I think it shows the person owning the province that the node is in. Yours is in the ocean. Ah, that makes sense. I will accept that. Okay, none of these guys have sold out their land yet, which is good news for me. A couple of years' time, we mow them down and take everything back. Ah, this is on the Mozambique Channel side. We can get over there nice and fast. I doubt these guys have much of a navy. Oh, they do have a heavy ship, but I still think that my transports can handle it. Imari, uh, Sakalava will be the first one to go down because they're the biggest. Makua. Yeah, Makua's a thing, aren't they? Alright, maybe I should hoover these guys up first then. 
clunk, clunk, clunk. And then with everyone down, I can sail back over here and deal with you. Or I have some units there to deal with you. I wouldn't need a lot. And we have so much money, it would be almost foolish not to hire a bunch of mercs to take care of it for me. Hey to you. A couple of you. Just be in position and slaughter them. <laughs> they have tech 13, but that mostly affects cannons, of which they have one. So it's okay. Yeah, I still want to take out Sakalava first, though, since they're the biggest target. Where is my global trade? Improve relations with Mali. They will never want to uh, to be by my side until we chase off Spain. Spain's support of Mali just does that in completely. And not to mention the whole forcing them to be my religion, which they really don't like, especially since the lands are being converted from unknown sources. Must be events or something. There we go. He started paying for his garrison there. I noticed it going up and I was wondering why for a split second until the penny dropped. It means he's also paying for his units. His morale's a bit terrible though. His tech's better than mine. Ho hum. Still, this changes everything. We got admin power, dip power, mill power. Plenty of prestige, progress. Glad to hear it. This changes something, all right. Um, this center of trade was a place where many of the newer developments in global trade were first pioneered. It's still a major center in the global trade network. And for that, we actually enjoy global trade. And it should be growing like wildfire in Kilwa and in Zanzibar. Could be growing more like wildfire there. So I'm actually going to go for advancement effort. I'll probably forget about it. I often do. Okay. Small problem is Spain. Fortunately, I have a navy. Unfortunately, so does Spain. God, do they have a navy. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. What else do we have going on? I still need to strike this out, and I have to hope that these guys can handle Mali on their own. But either way, well, let's give them some added support. Hell, I have money. I might as well invest it into here. I don't know if Naval Ideas can beat that, says Neutral Good Human. Well, we're about to find out, and we'll find out in the next episode. Cutting it fine here. Um... Man, it feels like these episodes get shorter and shorter. Just watch as the Xenonaut episodes get longer and longer. But I'm enjoying this, and I want to enjoy it over a hefty bit of time. There are a lot of streams ongoing uh, right now. But it remains important to me to enjoy them all. Okay, we'll deal with this. We'll clean up what was beaten out of us before. And now that we know what a Belgium is, we can make plans to go and surgically remove it. There's nothing uh, nothing saying this is going to be a heavy blobbing campaign, but there is something saying it's going to be a Belgian enslaving campaign. So until we continue it on next time, it's a cheers from me and a cheerio.